When I came to Scranton in 2001, there started to be a push for downtown living. A couple new lofts were being built in downtown Scranton, an old industrial city that was booming in the early 1900s. So the infrastructure was built for a very busy city. A lot of people living downtown, the roads, the architecture. I mean, you couldn't build these buildings today. It's an incredible building stock of downtown buildings that I fell in love with. If I were to choose three words to describe my apartment, I think I would go with affordable, modern quality. Affordable in the sense that I'm in a downtown area and I've lived in other metro downtown areas. The price difference is beyond significant. I'm in the heart of downtown Scranton. I literally have everything within blocks of me at my disposal. Philadelphia, I couldn't even entertain the idea of affording the price of center city living. In terms of modern, all of the stuff inside of my apartment is new and top of the line. The appliances, the carpet, the hardwood, quality is key to me and that is something that we have in spades inside of my building. When I first came up here, because it's a Pennsylvania city, I would have thought that it would identify more with Philadelphia. And while it does to some extent, it really identifies more with New York. The architecture is very New York the Penn Security Building with the exposed fire escapes and, and, and all that, that's, that's textbook New York City. But when you're on the ground, it's very manageable from a pedestrian standpoint. You never walk down a street and feel that you're next to a blank wall. You're, you're always next to some storefront. You're always next to something that's happening. So I was working in New York City, wanted a little bit of change of pace. I'm happy to, to be here and then I'm grateful that I made the move. What surprised me was that I thought that I would want to go back to New York City every weekend. I thought on Friday I wasn't going to want to like wait to be able to get out of my office and get back to New York City, but I really enjoy the lifestyle here so much. And the outdoor living combined with that city living hybrid that I really didn't have any desire to go back to New York City. I am the youngest of five children, all from West Scranton. I left for a few years to go to college, lived in a few different cities, but I think I always knew that coming back home here in Scranton was going to be the end game. So I spent some time in Nashville, I spent some time in Philadelphia. Between the wages that you can earn here in Scranton and the cost of living has kind of exceeded my expectations for, for moving back home. You still have your little corner mom and pop shop where you could go get a $5 lunch. You could also go get your $100 steak right around the corner on the same block if you needed to. Being able to get to anywhere that you need to be, whether it's up to the movie theater or to the ski resort or heading down to, to Wilkes-Barre to go to the casino, you're on the highway in under two minutes. You get off the highway when you're coming into Scranton and you're where you need to be. You're one block away from your apartment building and all the different shops and restaurants and, and it's all right in one central location and very easily accessible. I have friends and family come visit often. They love it, they feel at home when they are here. I take advantage of a parking facility less than a block away and the great living potential is the building that we're in which people like to say it's like a New York City apartment, right? But with an affordable costing structure. It's diverse, it's friendly, and I like to say it's the best of both worlds where you have the culture downtown, great restaurants, shopping experience. It feels like home. In terms of recommending it to others, I do it every day. If anybody is talking about moving downtown, I tell them how easy it is, how easy it was to get moved inside of my building, and then once you're moved in, all the amenities afforded to you from living downtown are such a luxury. You know, have the big city feel in a small city like Scranton and, and the cost of living being what it is, I don't think you can find it anywhere else. And that's clearly why everything is being rented as quickly as they're being rented and development is growing at the rate that it's growing. People want to see their city grow and become a better place because they love their city. They love that hometown feel and they want to see it prosper, which it's been doing since I've been here. The momentum hasn't stopped yet and I think it's got a long way to go.